Hello everyone, welcome back to the final part of part 8 in the 18 video part series of Exchange 2013-2019 Coexistence. In the previous uh, video, just to recap, we basically prepared Active Directory and we prepared the schema. And what we're going to be doing now in part E of part 8 is we're going to be installing Exchange from the command line and um, we're going to be, be installing the mailbox role, not the edge transport. So just to give you a, a quick rundown of what happening, what's happening in this command. So I first had to mount my ISO, which I did as an E drive. So we're running setup. The mode is install, not recover or upgrade. The roles is obviously the mailbox, and then obviously I'm accepting the terms and even though I've installed the uh, prerequisites with PowerShell, there's this new switch that you can use here if you don't do any of the PowerShell stuff that you can let it do the installation. So I'm going to leave it here um, basically for us to, to run with and I'm going to start the installation. So as you were aware, when we pre prepared Active Directory, it told you that you couldn't introduce any 2016 servers going forward. So only 2019 servers. So now, <clears throat> obviously this is a, a long process and um, once the installation starts and I'll obviously I'll end the video, but you can see that the process is basically the same as when we were preparing AD and preparing schema where it copies the files and then um, it basically then has to go through the prerequisite checks. Now in this instance it's going to do obviously all the, the roles and then the services. So your mailbox role, client access service example, the transport service, the management tools, languages, etc. Which we will see in a minute. There we go. So that you can see, it's those are all the things that it's going to be installing, from languages down to the client access front end service. Now, obviously, the prerequisites are being checked and done. Now, <clears throat> you'll notice that it didn't give me a warning about Mapy of HTTP. Why? Because I have it enabled in my organization. Obviously, I don't have a send connect enabled in or created in my in my uh, lab here, haven't got to that yet, um, and we'll cover that. But here you can see setup has gone past the prerequisite and is now starting. The longest part here is obviously copying the exchange files. Um, it sits on 16% for a little while, then it continues. So I'm going to be ending the video at this point. In the next part, we'll obviously be configuring our virtual directories for Exchange Server 2019. And by that time, hopefully my SSL certificate is ready, then we can show you how to export the SSL certificate from 2016 and import, sorry, 2013 that we have here and import it into our 2019 server. So that's it for part eight, done and dusted. So quick recap. We did the PowerShell prerequisites, we did .NET 4.8, UCMA runtime 4.0 plus the binaries. We prepared AD in the schema and now we are obviously installing Exchange. And look forward to seeing you in part 9 when we do the virtual directories. Thank you very much for watching.